Hello boys and girls, how are you doing? How is everybody in your family? I'm very excited to welcome you into 2021 Vacation Bible School organized by Ikoi Baptist Church. This year is very special because this is the 30th Vacation Bible School that we are celebrating, that we are having as a church and you are a, a part of this wonderful opportunity. We say thank you to God and we welcome you into this online Vacation Bible School. I'm so happy to have you and I'm sure that you are also happy to be a part of this and you are ready to learn from the Lord. We were not able to hold VBS last year because of COVID-19. Let me remind you that vacation um, COVID-19 is still around. So make sure you stay safe. Make sure you wash your hand. You put on your face mask or your nose mask. Make sure you are careful where you go. You don't go where it, wherever is not necessary. The Lord will keep each one of us in Jesus' name. Vacation Bible School 2021. What is it going to be all about? 2021 Vacation Bible School is going to be about prayers. The theme of this year's VBS is Gap Standards. Connected, connected to Jesus, connected to Jesus. Gap Standards. Connected to Jesus, connecting to Jesus. What does it mean? We're not just going to learn about prayers. I'm sure you know what prayer is, why we should pray, how we should pray. But beyond prayers and praying for yourself we want to learn how we can stand in the gap how we can pray for others so this year every one of us will become a gap stander in other words everyone that will attend vacation bible school 2021 will learn about people who were standing in the gap who were actually gap standers and they also will learn to become a gap stander what does it mean to stand in the gap? It means to look at that, that vacuum and make sure that you are the person that makes it possible for that vacuum to be filled. Many times, people are far away from God. And we need somebody, God is looking for someone who will bring them to Him. So you are the one that will stand in the middle between God and between that person that is far away from God and you bring them together. You are the one that will also take the request, the needs, the, the, the prayer points, all of the things that somebody is going through. You are the one that will bring it and take it to God. So you are going to stand in the gap this year. You are going to learn how to stand in the gap. So that at the end of this Vacation Bible School, you will be able to say confidently, I am a gap stander. I can pray. As you are connected to Jesus, because you have a relationship with him, you will be able to connect others to Jesus as you pray. So there are, there are going to be five lessons that you'll be learning within these five days of Vacation Bible School. Day one lesson. Today, the first day, you'll be learning about someone you, who we are very familiar with, who was visited by three angels. And by the time the angels were going, they told him something that was going to happen. That was going to happen to a country that his nephew was living in. And he thought, wow, I'm, I'm not going to keep quiet. I'm not going to, I'm not going to pretend like this is, this is not serious. I'm going to beg God on behalf of the people living there and on behalf of my nephew, if God will spare their lives. And this man continued to pray. He was asking God, okay, we find 50 people. If you find 45 people, if you find 30 people, if you find 20 people, if you find 10 people, will you not destroy the land? And God kept saying, I will not destroy. I will not destroy. I will not destroy. If I find 50, if I find 45, I will not destroy. If I find 30, I will not destroy. If I find 20, I will not destroy. If I find 10, I will not destroy. When he got to 10, he, he, he left because he just thought, well, after 10, am I going to ask for one? Am I going to ask for five? That would be too little for God not to destroy this land. But you see, the point is that 
as a gap stander. God is always ready to listen to you as you bring the requests of others to him. You must continue to pray. You must not give up because there is a God in heaven who listens to the prayers of his people, who answers their prayers, and who is willing to bring changes. This man, by the name Abraham, I'm sure by now you should, you should know the person I'm talking about, by the name Abraham, he continued to pray, he continued to pray, and when he stopped praying, nothing happened because he stopped praying. You must not stop praying. You must continue to pray because God is always ready to show mercy and to listen as you pray. So I'm sure you are ready to learn today. Sit tight, get ready to learn memory verses, to learn the theme song, and to also learn your Bible lesson, and do that and craft, and have a lot of fun. God is going to bless you as you do that. Make sure you sit down and get ready. It's day one of Gap Standard VBS. I am so happy to be here. Happy, happy, happy. I'm sure you're happy already as well. And you've learned some very wonderful songs already. So we're now we're going to learn our theme memory verses and our memory verse for today. So let's start with the theme memory verse. There are two theme memory verses. One is from 1 Timothy 2, 
1 to 3. And the second one is Ezekiel 22, 30. So let me just pick my Bible and we'll read the uh, theme verses. So Timothy is in the New Testament. You remember that, the Old and New Testament. Timothy is in the New Testament. And we're going to 1 Timothy 2, verse 1 to 2. I will read. First, I tell you to pray for all people. Ask God for the things people need and be thankful to him. You should pray for the kings and for all who have authority. Pray for the leaders so that we can have a quiet and peaceable life, full of worship and respect for God. This is good and pleases God our Savior. First Timothy 2, 1 to 3. Now, let me say that again. First Timothy 2, 1 to 3. Did you hear that? First Timothy 2, 1 to 3. First, I tell you, pray for all people. Ask God for things they need and be thankful to him. You should pray for kings and for all who have authority. Pray for the leaders so we can have a quiet and peaceful life full of worship and respect for God. This is good and it pleases God. First Timothy 2, 1 to 3. Now I'm going to go and read Ezekiel for you. Ezekiel is in the Old Testament. Remember, we have the Old and the New Testament. Ezekiel 22, 30. I have looked for someone amongst them who would build up the wall and stand before me in the gap on behalf of the land so that I will not destroy it, but I have found none. Ezekiel twenty-two thirty. So that is our theme verses. First is the first Timothy 2, 1 to 3, and then we have Ezekiel twenty-two thirty. So now let me grab a seat and we'll learn our memory verse for today. Don't go away, and we'll be right back. Let's make some popcorn. Are you ready? Let's go. Genesis 18, 23b. Abraham said, Lord, will you destroy the good people with the bad people? Genesis 18, 23b. Clap for yourselves. Did you enjoy that? Should we do it again? Now we start standing. Genesis 18, 23b. Abraham said, Lord, will you destroy the good people with the bad people? Genesis 18, 23b. That was very delicious. It was the most amazing popcorn I have had. Well done to all of you. So now that we have learned our memory verse, let's sit back and listen to our Bible blessing for today. See you later, children. Bye. Good morning, friends. This is our first Bible lesson for VBS 2021. Our theme for this VBS is Gap Standards. G for God, A for Answers, and P is Prayers. Gap Standards. Today, we're going to learn about how Abraham stood in the gap by praying for his friends. You will learn that, when, that just like Abraham, God will always tell you his plans, God will always tell you his plans and he will always talk to you in prayer. Just like how you go to mommy and daddy when you want something like toys, sweets, or you want to go somewhere like to the cinemas, you use a special magic word. 
Do you know what that magic word is? I'm sure you know it is please. In the same way, there's a magic action that we do whenever we want things from God. Our magic action or what we do when we want to go to God is prayer. Our Bible um, passage for today, our Bible passage for today is taken from Genesis chapter 18, verse 16 to 33. Repeat after me. Genesis chapter 18, verse 16 to 33. Genesis is found in the Old Testament. It is the first book of the Bible. Okay? So, if you can open Genesis chapter 18, I'll tell you the story of how Abraham prayed for the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. One day, Abraham was sitting in his tent where he got three unexpected visitors. And though he didn't know who the friends were, he took very good care of them which led to an amazing discovery. Do you know what that discovery is? Do you want to know what that discovery is? Yes, Abraham had found out that these three men were actually angels sent by God to give him some good news. And as they were leaving, Abraham heard them talking with God that something even more amazing was going to happen. Can you think that there's something more amazing than God coming to speak to Abraham? What more than having angels visit you with good news from God? Let's find out. In the Bible, it tells us that Abraham heard from God and God told him that he was going to destroy the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. Why? Because the people of Sodom and Gomorrah were so terrible. They were very wicked. But do you know the good thing that happened? I'll tell you. Abraham told God, God, please, 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 don't destroy the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. Please, if you have 50 people, will you destroy the people of Sodom and Gomorrah? God said that. If there are 50 good people, I will not destroy the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. Then Abraham thought, huh, maybe I could reduce the number. So God, so Abraham begged God, God, please, what if there are 45 good people who are, are in Sodom and Gomorrah? Would you destroy them? And God said, no, if there are 45 people, I will not destroy them. Abraham begged some more. What if there are 40 righteous and good people in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah? Would you destroy them also? And God said, no, nope. if there are 40 people, I will not destroy them. Abraham thought and thought and said, hmm, if I can beg God for 40 people, maybe I can beg God for even more. And Abraham said, what if there are 30 people who are good and righteous in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah, would you destroy them? And God said, no, nope. if there are 30 good people, I will not destroy them. <sighs> Abraham had to beg for more people. Abraham begged and said, please God, if there are 20 people, would you destroy them? And God said, no, no, no. I will not destroy them if they were even up to 20 people. What about 10, God? Can I beg you for 10 people? And God said, Abraham, if there were 10 righteous people, I would not destroy them. Abraham said, thank you, God, for listening to me. And thank you for agreeing to my request. I know that there are not 10 people that would that are righteous in Sodom and Gomorrah. But children, isn't it amazing that Abraham was talking to God and not only that, God actually spoke back to God to him and told him what he was planning to do. But the most amazing thing is that God 
Abraham was able to change God's mind just a little bit. Do you know that you too can pray to God and talk to God every day and God will listen to you? Yes, God listens to you. Abraham could talk to God and plead with him because he was God's friend and because he obeyed God. You too can talk to God just like you talk to your friends anytime, anywhere, about anything. If you ask Jesus to be your friend, you can talk to him in prayer and he will answer you. But if you have never asked him into your life, he will not listen to you. You know, God will not listen to you if you don't ask him into your heart. If you want him to answer you when you talk to him, then you have to ask him to come and be your friend and come and stay in your heart. Would you like to be God's friend today? Let us pray. Remember, children, that when you're praying, you close your eyes and put your hands together. You put your hands together and be quiet. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for today. We thank you that you can be our friend. We thank you that we can come to you in prayer anytime and you will hear us. Lord Jesus, please come into our hearts and save us and help us not to be wicked and help us not to do bad things. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Good children, thank you for praying this prayer and God has answered your prayers. Now, let me ask you some questions. Are you ready? Listen to the questions carefully and answer and tell your mommy and daddy and they will also tell you whether you're right or wrong. Who was the man that had visitors in our story today? Do you remember? Yes, it was Abraham. What did God want to do with the people of Sodom and Gomorrah? Do you remember? God wanted to destroy the people and their land. And what did Abraham do? Do you remember? God was with Abraham when Abraham begged him and told him, please do not destroy them because there might be some righteous people. There might be some good people. Okay, so that was why, um, that was what Abraham did. Do you remember when Abraham didn't think he could find 45 righteous people in Sodom and Gomorrah, what number did he reduce to? You're right again, he reduced to 40 people, 40 people. Can we talk to God the way Abraham talked with God? Of course, if you are God's friend like Abraham, you can always talk to God and God will answer you. And what is the conversation that Abraham had with God called? It is called prayer. Children, you can always pray to God and God will answer you. Bye-bye. Hello, children. Today, our teachers have taught us about how Abraham stood in the gap in prayer. And today, we're going to learn how to pray. We'll be doing this with the Lord's Prayer. And you know, when you want to pray, the first step is to put your hands together, close your eyes, bow your head, this you are doing because we respect God, to show respect to God. And we close our eyes so that we will not be distracted by anything happening around us. Now, we are going to take the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day 
our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we we'll forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil for thou in the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen you see that was easy now we are going to learn this day by day i will teach you prayer one and prayer two and tomorrow you're going to learn prayer three and prayer four now we will repeat prayer one again but first you can see the picture of the king abba father the person we are praying to and prayer one goes thus our father who art in heaven hallowed be the name and we move on to prayer two which you'll be seeing a picture which talks about the kingdom of god and it says the kingdom come that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. After this activity today, daddy and mommy can help you run through the Lord's prayer again. And don't forget, tomorrow we are going to be learning prayer 3 and prayer 4. Have a nice time. Welcome to this year VBS Gap Standard. Welcome to the activity part where Abraham asks, for, asks God for good people. So you have the paper, you can download the paper, your parent can help you download the paper. Here you see Sodom, you see Abraham, you see the field, and there is a place that you are going to cut to put the number of people Abraham begged for. Wait until I show you the complete one. Let's start painting from Abraham. I'm painting Abraham now. I'm painting the body. I'm going to paint the field. Also, what else I'm doing? So you can do yours too. We are finished painting. This is the paper that showed the that showed the begging. 50, 45, 40, 30, 20, 10. So you are going to slot this in your drawing. Sorry, turn it upside down. So Abraham started begging from 50, from 50 to 45, to 40, to 30, to 20, to 10. So after this, you need to glue the paper at the back. You put a glue. Open your glue. Glue it at the back. So that it'll... This should be your final work. I hope you like this. May God bless you.